in today's Big Bang. Make this nerve-wracking game of skill using old CDs and a steady hand. Gasp as you meet the man who invented neon signs. <gasps> and we reveal the secret of these cool crystals. Welcome to the Big Bang. Here's a puzzle for you. Can you stand on a balloon without bursting it? Yeah, I reckon I can stand on a balloon without bursting it. Simply a matter of placing the balloon on the floor and getting your weight directly over it and... <laughs> no, you can't stand on a balloon. Well, you're right, it is impossible. But it is possible to stand on three balloons without bursting Mother, them. balloons are not for the standing on. Trust me on this No, one. it can be done. Have a think about it, and I'll reveal the secret at the end of the show. That one. You sure? Yes. You certain? Yeah, I think so. Is that your final answer? Yeah, final answer. Gareth Jones, there were five pegs on that level. There are now four. Pick your peg. <laughs> this is a really tense game. You can never tell if the peg that you remove is going to bring the whole tower tumbling down. Now, you can make a game like this yourself. Uh, we've used these really brightly coloured plastic clothes pegs. Now, it's really important that your clothes peg is able to stand up. If you file them off with a, an emery board or a nail file, they'll be really smooth and they will definitely stand up then. Make the levels from junk CDs. You know, the ones that you get free internet trials on. And put them shiny side up, because that's prettier. Now, there are six pegs on each level, but only three need to support the CD. And the trick is working out which pegs you can take out before the tower tumbles. Now, you remove the pegs using a lolly stick with a couple of magnets stuck on it, one on either side, so it makes it easier to get the pegs out. Now, you can get magnets from a craft shop, or indeed uh, a good supply of magnets are old fridge magnets. Here, Avi. Now, don't let your magnet get anywhere near the peg till you've made your choice, because if you do, the peg will jump out and the tower might fall over. If you want any more details on how to play our peg game, you can find them on the Big Bang website. Ready? Ready. Gareth Jones from Wales, you've got two lifelines. Do you want to ask the audience? Testing the structural strength of bananas again. Here are two things about bananas. Can you tell which one is the big fib? Fact or fib? Bananas are normally yellow or green, but the Barbados blue banana is just that, the only blue banana in the world. It has a completely different taste to the yellow bananas we usually eat. Fact or fib? Bananas normally come from tropical places, but they are also grown in Iceland, where giant greenhouses are heated by underground hot springs. Iceland is the biggest banana producer in Europe. So, which is the big fib? Make your choice now. Well, bananas really are grown in Iceland, so the big fibber is Cynthia. There are no blue bananas, but there is a red banana, which comes from Jamaica. <laughs> These are bonsai trees. Bonsai means tree in a pot. It's an ancient oriental art, a way of growing a tree 
but keeping it small. Some of the oldest bonsai trees are up to a thousand years old, but don't worry, it doesn't have to take quite that long to grow your own bonsai. Now, the first thing you're going to need, of course, is a tree. And you can buy a young plant from a garden centre. I like the look of this one here. It's good and healthy. Here's a good tip. Choose a pine because the branches are nice and floppy and that's very handy. Now, I like the look of this tree, especially as it's got moss growing on the trunk there because it already looks as if it's a giant tree in miniature. Now, these branches are good, but this one, well, it's already too big, it's too thick, so it has to go. So cut it off just at the joint. Next, you'll need some copper wire, stuff like this, quite bendy, you can get it from a, a hardware store, and start by pushing it into the base like that so it's anchored firmly, and then wrap it around the trunk. Plenty of turns, nice and close together. Now, when you do this, you're actually going to be able to control the way that your tree will grow. I'll show you because here I've got a tree which I grew earlier. And you can see I've wrapped the copper wire right the way around the branches here like this. So as the tree grows, I can set it in a position and it will grow that way for me. After about five years of careful love and attention, you could have something which looks like this. And look at the way that the trunk has grown into this fantastic curly shape. Now, because it's a real tree, it'll want to continue growing and getting bigger and bigger. The best way to stop it from doing that is to transfer it into a bonsai pot, which actually stops the roots from growing and stops the tree from getting any bigger. So what you're left with is a proper tree, but in miniature. Now, if you're interested in growing your own bonsai trees, there's lots of details and pictures on the Big Bang website. This is the story of a rather clever Frenchman called Georges Claude and two very silly Frenchmen. The silly Frenchmen were two warring barbers locked in a battle for custom. My son is better than your son. It will attract many more customers. Ha! My son is larger than your son. The customers will come to me. <laughs> Meanwhile, over on the other side of Paris, the clever Frenchman had a big idea that would change advertising forever. Georges Claude was a chemist and an engineer. He was interested in some new gases that had only just been discovered in the air. First, Georges worked out a way to separate the gases from the rest of the air. Then he started experimenting. He took a glass tube and removed all the air from it and filled it with one of the new gases, neon. He then sent an electrical charge through the tube and amazingly, it glowed a fiery red. What a law! I have made coloured light out of thin air! He was delighted. It was ingenious and it was cheap. The neon wasn't used up and it used very little electricity. He could do great things with this invention. But what exactly could you do with a red glowy tube? Well, he did have one idea, but just at that moment, a friend popped round. <laughs> Claude, my little chubby fellow. Oh, no. And the idea went completely out of Georges's head. What are you doing in here, huh? Boy, what is this, huh? Boy, is that this freaky? Look at that. Hey, <laughs> I know what you can do with this. George's friend had had a better idea anyway. Ha! My sons are better than your son. You are a silly French barber and you smell of guinea pigs. You call that a sign? <laughs> it is pathetic. You are a silly French barber. Just you wait and see. Oh, yo, yo. <laughs> so, who is smelling of the guinea pigs now, huh? 
The first ever neon sign was put up at a hairdresser's shop in Paris 90 years ago. It caused a sensation. People came from all over France to see the famous sign, which they called Liquid Fire. It stopped traffic, caused a huge commotion. Word spread and businesses all over the world put in orders for the exciting new signs, which came as quite a surprise to Georges Claude. His idea had been to use neon as a cheap way to light people's homes. This is never going to work. Magical, aren't they? These crystal sculptures look like they've taken years to make, but they actually formed themselves overnight while I slept. The main ingredient is this stuff. It's called borax, and it's used for washing really dirty laundry. So whatever you do, don't eat it and wash everything out afterwards. You'll need help to buy it, because you can only get it from chemists. Apart from borax, you'll need pipe cleaners, string and a pencil. Start off by taking your pipe cleaner and wrapping it round into the shape you want. These are some of the shapes you can make. 3D ones are excellent. I'm going to make a spiral by wrapping my pipe cleaner round something cylindrical, this glue stick. That should do it. Now take the string and tie your sculpture shape to the string. And wind the other end of the string round a pencil. Keep it in place with a bit of sticky tape. Now we can put that to one side for a minute, get a wide mouth jar, fill it with warm water from the tap, take your borax, tip it in and stir it round. You need quite a lot of borax actually, this whole packet for this jar full of water. Next you'll need colour. Food colouring is what I've used. Pick your colour and you'll actually need quite a lot of this as well about three or four teaspoonfuls. Stir it again. Get your pipe cleaner sculpture and dip it into the jar, making sure it doesn't touch the bottom or the sides, but it's completely submerged. And leave it overnight. While you're asleep, some of the dissolved borax sticks to the pipe cleaner and forms crystals. Then more borax sticks to those and they grow layer upon layer until you get this. Beautiful, isn't it? All you've got to do now is dry it on some kitchen towel, pat it dry. And get someone tall to help you hang it. Gareth, will you give us a hand? Hey Violet, these are lovely. Thanks, here's another one to hang. Tell you what, for something made of washing crystals, they are gorgeous. Yeah, I love the way they sparkle in the light. Remember the puzzle Violet set at the start of today's Big Bang? She reckons you can stand on three balloons without bursting them. I don't know how you're getting on with this, but I haven't managed to do it yet. <laughs> now, what you need is a big board. Look, Good job you've got one then, isn't it? Eh? Get three balloons, yeah. put them in the middle of the carpet. Right. And then we balance the board on top of them, right in the middle there. Yeah. And now, stand on the board. You can use me to support if you they'll, want. They'll just explode. No, go on, do it carefully. Just, it's, mind your balance, that's all. <laughs> if you can balance... Yeah, there you go. You see, there is a gap between the board and the carpet. And the balloons are squashing down and spreading your weight over a wider area. It's astonishing how much weight they'll actually take. And I tell you what, it'll take my weight as well. No. If we get the balance right. No. OK, are you ready? Yeah, go on. Three, two, two one. one. Ah. <laughs> if you like this puzzle, there are more on the Big Bang website. As well as information about everything you've seen in today's programme. That's it for now. We'll see you next time on... The, the Big Bang! bang. <laughs> in the next Big Bang, build this automatic bubble-making machine. Meet the man who worked out how to keep food fresh. He's very strange. And play tunes on a pop bottle.